Hi and welcome. Air dry clay is such a wonderful medium to use. I absolutely love it for all kinds of projects but today I'm going to make a really cute little planter and I hope you enjoy it and love it as much as I do. Please join me. So here I am with my air dry clay and an empty plastic bottle. You can use any size for this but this Coca-Cola one is perfect for the size of my little planter. You just want something that your little plant pot will fit into. Carefully cut it a bit taller than your plant pot so that we can add some stones in the bottom and use that for drainage. Take the air dry clay and give it a bit of a knead to condition it and then we're going to roll it out on a non-porous surface to just less than a quarter of an inch in thickness. I have a nice even thickness across this clay and I'm now going to cut it to the height of the container in a nice long strip. You can use a ruler if you need to at this stage and any kind of sharp knife. I'm using this plastic vessel so that the clay is not in permanent contact with any moisture. Roll the clay around your container and then cut it to size. I score both sides of the edge here and then I'm going to add some slip and join it together nice and neatly. I describe this method fully in my trinket pot video which I will link in the description below. Around the centre here I'm just leaving the clay a little bit baggy and not completely hug the bottle with the clay because there will be some shrinkage when this dries so it will crack a little bit and next we're going to add the base on so simply draw around this and cut out the base and then we can attach it on exactly as we did um, with the sides, score it and add a little bit of slip and then smooth the edges and don't forget any extra just put it back in the packet and keep it for later. I'm always surprised how little quantity of clay I use for each project and a kilogram really goes really quite far. Having a bottle like this gives us a nice shape at the bottom and I'm going to be turning this into a cute little fox planter and so we can use a couple of the dimples at the bottom as the fox's legs. If you have a round one that works well as well. And make sure you just secure the join nicely. And here's one I did earlier, which was not a Coke bottle, but a flat bottle. So I'm going to show you how we add the face onto the fox like this. For this size planter, take a golf ball size piece of air dry clay and roll it out to an oval shape, just like this. Just make sure we're overlapping the sides like this so that the fox's face sticks out slightly at the top and at the sides. So now I'm taking my knife again and I'm going to cut in the ears. So at this sort of angle here, you can cut to our ears. Just make sure it's as symmetrical as you like. So there I formed the ears and now I'm just going to take off some excess to make it more of that fox shape there. And of course you could do it for any animal, you could do a nice owl or anything. If you find a picture of an owl or um, any other animal I'm sure you could mimic the face of it and add this onto the container too. Um, you don't have to do a fox but um, that's what I'm loving at the moment, I'm loving the foxes. And so we're going to form that nose section and the bridge of the nose. And so take a sausage shape like this, a, a coil which is thinner one end, and we're going to simply just pop that underneath where the nose would be. And that gives us that shape. Simply take your fingers and form in the eye sections. And so I'm taking a little bit of slip on my fingers there and simply adding in the detail. Add in as much or as little detail as you like and smooth it all out with the slip or just a little bit of water. I seem to be loving foxes at the moment so I really fancy doing this little planter as a little fox. So gently pick it up and we're going to work out where it goes on our little planter pot and I'm going to score that and score the back of the face, adding slip in between and then we can attach it on. So I'm finding the centre there, 
got two little feet that I'm using from the bottle anyway and then we can place it on being nice and careful and then we can use our fingers or the tool and blend that together so that we get it to attach and to adhere together. I'm just going to work all the way around the edges with my little tool making sure that it is glued in place and then also putting that detail back in as it's on there and just make sure the sides of the fox's face do face out a little bit and then once you are happy you can just sit it on your tile there to dry. When you attach air dry clay to something rigid it is going to shrink so as we're putting this on the outside it has cracked but do expect it to crack but don't worry about it if it's a tiny crack you can add a little bit of slip and really blend that together or if there's a bigger crack then take a small amount of your wet air dry clay and simply fill in the gaps and use the slip to put on your finger and then mould it back and then we will leave that to dry fully again. It doesn't take as long to dry this time and um, you'll notice that all the cracks will have disappeared and we're ready to paint it. So don't worry if it does crack, we expect it to crack. So once it's fully dry, I like to leave mine for three or four days to dry fully. This one has been drying for four days because it's fairly thick on the face there. And then we take some ever so fine sandpaper and sand it all down. Then this time I'm going in with a slightly watered down white acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the whole of the fox in this. Wait for that layer to dry and then give it a full coat of white acrylic paint. Your fox can be absolutely any colour as you wish obviously and I'm just going to make this a really sort of deep fox orange colour, like a burnt umber. So I just mixed yellow with a little bit of red and a little bit of brown as well. So I did two coats of the acrylic white acrylic paint and the best bit about that is as you go in with a colour if you do make a mistake you can quickly wipe it away with a wet cloth and you can try again so that's a really good tip. Between the coats of paint make sure you seal your paint up as well. Once you've done two or three coats of your colour you can now add in your detail. You can first of all add it in with pencil and if you're not quite happy with it first time you can obviously just use an eraser and rub it out. And so I'm going in with some black acrylic paint and a really fine paintbrush and just adding in lots of nice little details. You can add as many or as few of these as you wish and it's nice to use some white little details too. The one I made on here is now dry too and as you can see we have some small cracks as well so I'm going to go and fill those in and I think I might paint this one a nice grey colour just to be contrasting to the orange one. Now that they're painted and both fully dry I can go in and spray them or varnish them. I'm balancing them on a couple of little pyramids that I made as recommended by a lovely lady that was watching one of my other videos. Now that they're fully dry I've added some little stones in the bottom for drainage and added the plants in the top in their plant pots and they look super cute and I'm really pleased with them so I hope you give this a go too and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.